Hey, what's up guys, Mark here, and I have my friend Peter over here. We got two Model 3s here, and if you don't know what this one is, this one is a Model 3 Performance. How many models you got, like 12,000? 12,000. 12, this one over here is the Model 3 Standard Range Plus with about 21,000 miles, but the difference between them is, I mean the speed, but the difference between them is, is he has the hardware 2.5 and I have the hardware 3.0 in here, and we're gonna take it out for a test today to see if he sees cones. A lot of you guys have been asking if there is in fact, you know, the confirmation about cones, but we're gonna see what the difference is between his and mine in here. So if you guys are ready to take a drive, let's do it. You ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. All right, just in case you wanna know here, what you can do if you wanna come in and check and see what your car has, uh, you come into software over here and then you're gonna do additional vehicle information. And then from there, you're gonna see that uh, you've got these different options right here. Got the premium 2.5 computer. He's got home link in there and the Intel Atom. So he does in fact have the hardware 2.5. All right, in your settings here, you're not gonna see anything in here uh, that's gonna show you any display or anything like that. But uh, you'll look in here and in the navigation and autopilot section, it's just gonna have the different things there. Auto steer, navigate autopilot, standby mode and relative and absolute. But there is no location in here that says like turn on the visualizations. All right, let's go get this drive on. We're gonna close this out. So this is the actual first time I've driven uh, his car here. And oh my gosh, it is such a different drive. Well, there's a cone, it popped up. Look at that already. And that was actually a fire hydrant. So, I got that, I'll put it on some autopilot there. So a lot of stuff is showing up as cones in here that may not be on screen there. So we're gonna take my car and then do the same route and see what comes up on that. He's got the 20 inch wheels on here and man, it drives so much different. I didn't even realize that. Uh, just the drive in there, it's really stiff and, and kind of like just adapts to the road. It feels really good. All right, so we're getting across here. What I'm going to look at, we have a bunch of cones up here. What we're going to be looking at is the difference between the hardware 2.5 and the hardware 3. Again, if you guys are watching, we're in the hardware 2.5 car right now. So it's showing that cone up right there, but it's now it's picking those other ones up. That's pretty good. There we go. Look at that. They are lined up. Now, I really don't notice anything in difference between the hardware 2.5 and 3 uh, between the two cars here uh, re regarding how well they work uh, with keeping in the in the lanes and so on and so forth like that. So here we got some cones coming up. Let's see how these look. Popping up. So 2.5, we detected that person there. That was good. Didn't detect them as early as the hardware three computer. All right, so our next set of cones here, it's picking up those mailboxes early, or is it, is it the mailbox? Here's our last one. And here we go. That's a lot of cone, ladies and gentlemen. So my car with a hardware 3.0 actually picks up the the poles, the little vertical poles that, and they show up on screen as that. So maybe just cones are visible here. I'm gonna see if I can find any. Uh, stop signs do not show up in 2.5. As you can see, we passed one right there. Uh, it's picking up those guys right over there as cones on that side. Uh, fire hydrant has a cone, yep. And this middle thing is a cone there, but no stop sign. All right, let's see what else it detects as cones as we drive down here. 
fire hydrants are commonly picked up as cones, even on the Hardware 3. that oh I picked up that bicycle coming out of his head on that was pretty good my car sometimes doesn't do that so all right there we go we got our last cone we're gonna try and get ourselves back in here all right so we're in the Santa Range Plus now we got some people coming up to us And we're going to take the same route that we did just a second ago. So that other car with the dual motors is so much heavier, like, you know, on the road wise, this one kind of moves around a lot. Whereas that one is just like really hugged to the, to the ground. You can feel it. There we go. Those are showing up. And as mentioned, you know, the, the bars and the stop signs are not showing up on screen there. So that's what you're not going to see on the hardware 2.5. Uh, and trash cans don't show up. So I imagine someone made that, uh, said, hey, we can make this happen. We'll put it on there so people can see the cones and maybe the car can detect the cones a little bit better. Who knows what you know, the thought process was to get hardware 2.5 the cones, or they found a, a better programming to make it work right, you know, to make it where it's not taxing on the system. And we're going to see up here how far in advance, I think it's about the same uh, on both of them. They're, they're able to detect it about the same distance out. The only difference is, is that the uh, hardware 2.5 is detecting some things as cones and some things as not. Like right here, we saw uh, the cones being detected. And there's those little street signs. Here's the cones. And they populate in just about the same, right? So stop sign rolls around just like that very quickly and easily. And there we go, a little bit of a flicker, but you can see that little pylon right there. That's what I was talking about earlier. All right, so here we go, We've got some oncoming traffic. And you can see they both disappear approximately the same between hardware 2.5 and hardware 3 as cars pass you right there.
All right, there we go. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this video here. I want to thank Peter for letting me borrow his car there for just a little bit there. We did clean everything, make sure everything's wiped down really good. We both uh, are very safe about that. So for you hardware 2.5 owners, until you get that upgrade, you can see some cones here, which is, it's still kind of neat. You get to see the visuals. It's just something that's interesting to see on the screen. So maybe they're working on some better programming for the hardware 2.5 itself. That could be a real big possibility, uh, putting in the cones because they're minimum and uh, they're gonna see how much the system is taxed from you know processing cones along with the roadway, along with everything else in the uh, older hardware there. So I wanna say thank you guys again for watching this video here, like and subscribing, and thanks for Peter for letting me uh, come out. Check out all the links in the description. You can see mine, his, and all the other channels that we have available there. Uh, if you remember the drag racing strip that we went out and uh, raced the cars, that was who I went with. And uh, I think we're finished up here. Confirmed. Hardware 2.5 sees the cones.